This is a feeder main coming from our plant that brings the water in from Lakewood Treatment Plant. It's a 42 inch pipe. You see there's a hole in the top of it. It's probably over 100 years old. Uh, back in the early 90s, we were averaging about 50 water main breaks uh, a year. Uh, today, we're averaging 140 uh, water main breaks a year. And our engineers estimate that if we don't uh, change our focus and be, uh, invest more proactively in our water system, that, that's, that number will double to 300 uh, a year by the end of this decade. We keep putting what I call band-aids on. In this case, because of the steel pipe, we, we can weld a cap on it. On the smaller pipes, we go out and we actually put clamps on. And we'll evaluate whether we need to put in a section of pipe or a clamp. A lot of times we can make the repair with the clamp. But you know the cost of digging in these spot repairs is, is cost prohibitive to go out and dig a whole block like this. We're just going to have to excavate enough so that we can get the trench box in here to work safely inside of this hole. As you see, it's a metal box. It gives them a, a safe work zone to work in down in the hole. We often talk about uh, utility problems in terms of what is the end result or how much will the customer have to pay. And that's the only discussion that happens. Instead, we can say we know that water main breaks are disruptive uh, to our community. They're disruptive to homeowners, they're disruptive uh, to business owners, and they're very expensive to fix. Looks like we might have another leak down below there too. Oh, we get another one. Yeah, so they're going to have to put two caps in this one. So. Jerry, you got the welders coming out? The unfortunate thing here is, you know, with the old aging infrastructure, this, this was just repaired less than two years ago, and now we're back here again. As you could see, when we did the repair, we were able to stop the leak, and so now we cross our fingers that we don't have to go back in there in the next couple months. If you look at the last 10 years, 17% of our water is lost, what we call unaccounted for water. In other words, it doesn't go through a meter. And we attribute a lot of that to our water main breaks. American Water Works standards says you should have less than 10% of your water unaccounted for. We have pipes that are over 100 years old in the ground right now on that, and we're looking to try and, try and replace all that infrastructure as best we can. But we also have pump stations that are 60, 70 years old as well, too. So we need to replace that infrastructure as well, too. It's the role of city government to build a solid infrastructural foundation with which businesses can thrive and economy can grow on. Elected officials get really caught up in the idea of the discussion of reasonable rates and they forget about the fact that we first need to talk about reliable rates and making the system reliable.